Hello everyone and welcome to Realistic Realtors. We're with Superior Coaching School. I'm Bill and this is my business partner Nick. And our coaching program is different than most people's because we're very realistic. We're about taking you guys to a point where you can reach your goals. We're about taking the business, your business, and putting it into action. So you can start your business today and let's grow your business together. Today, we're up to lesson number 18, and we're talking all about testimonials, which we know is a really important aspect of your business, Nick. Yeah, and I want to start with a quote. Um, with all the information and ease to information, easy access to information, I should say, that exists today, um, everybody looks for third-party validation. Sure. It could have been more true. The prime example of this, and you know, I just said prime, I was going to say is Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, perfect example is Amazon because you look at the reviews there, how important those are. Um, we're shopping on it every day, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. I know when I come home every day, there's a package there. Yeah, and what's one of the first things uh, your wife does? I mean, she probably looks at the reviews, right? Everything, anything that we order for our kids, she will look at the reviews and she will order that product based on the reviews. Even when we go out to eat, my kids, Nick, anymore, my, my 16, 18 year old, they will go to Yelp and they'll look at pictures of the food. And if the picture of the food doesn't look good, they don't consider it. If the picture of the food looks good, then they look up the review. <laughs> yeah, and I'll take it one step further. This is even worse, but we've gone to restaurants sometimes where we walk in the front door and, you know, you, you, it takes a couple minutes. Oh, it'll be a five-minute wait. Okay, we're looking at the, everything on Yelp, and then we look at the pictures and we're like, you want to go somewhere else? <laughs> and we're actually there. We'll walk out. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's, again, what happens is that more so than, and more so than any point in, in our history, right? Um, it's so easy to look up information. And that's a great point. So as a realtor, okay, before they even call you to give you even a chance to win them over, they'll go right to testimonials and they don't sound good. They're not even going to pick up the phone and call you. Or if you don't have any testimonials, they're not even going to call you. So the reviews, testimonials, are a good thing. You need them in your business. Yeah, so I've always said that selling a thousand homes and not having a single testimonial is like selling no homes at all. Because then for the pers to, uh, to a prospective client, you know, because when they're looking at you, if, if they have nothing to base off of, right, if they're just taking you for your word, they can do that with anybody. Sure. Right? It can be like you're a brand new realtor. Um, if they go on your Facebook business page, you have no testimonials. They go on LinkedIn, you have no reviews, recommendations. If you go on Google Business and you have no reviews, they go on Zillow and get no reviews. They're going to look at you and say, what has this guy done? What, what have you done? You know, have you done any business? Right? Um, so over the years, Bill, where have you gotten the majority of your testimonials on? I got them from past clients. And uh, a lot of them at the time I would uh, download to like a lead generation platform I was using. I would download them and put them on uh, my website. Um, but besides with social media, Nick, you know, a lot of my testimonials came from social events. Um, I go over to, uh, say, a Christmas party at a friend's house, and there might be 80 people there. And my friend Ralph would be like, hey, this is Bill Price. you got to use him. He's a great realtor. Bill, you got a card? Give this guy a card. You know, and, yeah. and he would introduce me like five, six times that night. Um, so it's not just, you know, the social media aspect of it. You can get testimonials face-to-face -face with clients that care about you. Now, what I would say, so that would be the old school method. Yep. You're getting belly to belly. I would say a new school approach would be, well, why don't you take exactly what he just said? And he's obviously, this is someone who's enthusiastic, really like, likes you a lot. So obviously we want some of the best testimonials. We want to use them even more because it could be a very good uh, marketing tool. I would say, why don't you get Ralph, right? Why don't you get him to record something for you in video form that you could post? Because how important would it be to connect? If I'm scrolling through Facebook and I'm looking you up, Bill, and I'm saying, um, how good is this guy? I'm going to click on this video. Man, hey, this is Ralph. I, I live in, you know, Huntersville, North Carolina. And, man, if you're not using Bill Price, you're doing it wrong because this guy knows everything about real estate. He's bought and, I've bought and sold 10 homes with him. You know, over the last 12 years, and you know, I've moved a lot, obviously, and uh, and uh, I just, I would highly recommend him. That video goes such a long way in today's market. And I guess we could take that with your thoughts there. And if you just sold a house, and you sold whatever community, um, ask that client to post on the Facebook community website that, hey, just had a smooth transaction with Bill Price, just sold a house. You know, you need a realtor. Bill's your guy. Yeah, and produce video. I mean, you, you know, take a picture with him at closing 
Um, you can put some of that into the video. You can say, here's some pictures of us, you know, closing stuff together. Take a picture of maybe the closing gifts and do a video of the closing gifts that you get them. Um, you know, anytime you can take that content, I mean, that is gold. Uh, sure. And so you can see here on the slide, 89% of marketers say that customer testimonials are the most effective um, form of content. 89%. That tells you something, right? Yeah. That shows you how important third-party validation is, right? So, Bill, tell us a little bit more. I, I, I want to get a better idea. When you're asking for a testimonial, what are some of the scripts you use to, to not sound too pushy? Hey, listen, Ralph, can you do me a favor? I build my business on customer satisfaction, and we just had a, this awesome transaction. Hopefully, I was there for you, met every your needs, every, every one of your needs. Can you do me a favor? Can you just type up a quick testimonial for me? I'd love to put it on my website. Can you do me that favor? And they usually will. Um, yeah. And, and so, then, so then the follow-up is, okay, so they write you one. Now it's how do you thank them? Do you, do you offer them something in return usually? I know uh, some people do. Yeah, well, it depends what it is. You know, a lot of times if I need a testimonial, it's usually after closing, we're going out to lunch anyway. I'm treating lunch. Um, or I'll, I'll, I'll meet them. Um, and obviously, you want to be selective. You know, let's be honest here. If you had one deal that wasn't so great, uh, ask them for a, how you could have done better. Yeah. You might not want to post that testimonial. Um, if you were, if, here's a good point. If you have a bad deal, and you know, listen, there's plenty of times we have a bad deal, it's out of our control. It could have been the lender's fault, the repairman's fault, right? Uh, the attorney's fault, push off closing, and you have a client that's really mad and they might take it out on you, okay? Well, obviously, you might be worried they're gonna give you a bad testimonial. Before you get to that point, email them and say, listen, we got it done, it was a little stressful. If I dropped the ball at all in any form or fashion, please let me know how I can do a better job next time. Could you just show them you care? That could also stop a negative testimonial going out there. See, but what you just did, Bill, what you just did right there, you drove the conversation, right? Yeah. You basically kind of like guided them to the light, right? To the, at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, right? And that's what you do in real estate, right? Sure. That's all we're doing is guiding people towards a, a certain um, end goal, end result. And so I think what's key, what Bill just said, you want to shape that. If, if maybe the transaction was a little bit shaky, it was a tough deal, um, right? And there was a, lot, a couple things that came up that you had to address. Um, you want to shape that in your... Um, testimonial. And sure. so here's a couple ways that you can do that. As Bill mentioned, email them first and let them know and kind of give you prove that, hey, look, we made it. Here's all the things that we had to do to overcome got to get to it. the point we are, yep. right? We got through it. That's the most important part. Yeah. But then when you're asking for your testimonial, let's say you're sending an email, if you have a script and you need some, some help with that, here's what I would say. You want to make sure, you want to say to them, I want you to answer these three questions. And you give them three questions to answer. And a lot of the good examples I've heard from realtors are, uh, what were your expectations heading in? How did I compare to any previous realtors or previous deals that you've worked on? Did I meet your expectations, right? Or did I exceed your expectations? And was I able to negotiate and fight on your behalf to get you, in your opinion, the best deal that you could get out there? The reason for asking those questions is because if you just say, hey, I'd love for you to write me a testimonial, they could say, Bill did great. Period. And, and they can be re repetitive. Yeah. All the testimonials will start looking the same. Yeah. Well, again, but the, the, what I'm saying is. And you're driving the questions. If it's open ended, I mean, they could just. Bill did great. Right. What does that tell you about you, right? Yep. Uh, that doesn't tell you much. If you ask them questions specifically, it forces them to answer sure. to be specific. So um, I think we'll wrap up with this. Um, Bill, how important do you feel um, when you get a testimonial and you're sharing that with somebody? Does that not make you kind of put you on a pedestal without really bragging about yourself, right? Is that not a good way to... Well, yeah, it's that third-party validation that you brought up in the beginning. We have to remember our clients are promoters, right? So they can promote us without us bragging. So that's what we have to bring into the mix. These testimonials are actually our clients promoting us so we can get our next client, make them happy, and keep building our network and growing. And I would say... Where do we want to get these testimonials? You want to make sure you have a Google My Business page, okay? You can create a location for your, yourself, your business, on Google Maps. You want to have a Facebook business page. You want to make sure you get reviewed on there as well. You want to make sure you have recommendations on LinkedIn, especially for those of us out sure. there who are at a higher price point. LinkedIn, I want to speak to it for a second. 
is basically like your online resume, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. So if your resume is blank, that doesn't bode well for you, does it? Mine was for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it, it, exactly. And so you might have higher price point uh, buyers that are on LinkedIn. And absolutely. They're, they're looking you up. And, and serious business people. Yeah, serious, exactly. Someone who wants to see what's your background, right? Sure. Um, and if you have an impressive background, even if it's not real estate related, people will like you for that, right? Bill, sure, I mean, about yourself, you've been an entrepreneur your entire life. Done a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. And so I think um, being an entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur, right? Um, a lot of people connect with that. Yeah, some they connect with, you know, for sure. Well, they see that you you struggled, you made it, and this, and, and then you succeeded, right? You've yep. learned and, and all that. So I think, you know, having those recommendations on there is so key. So again, action steps, everybody make sure that you have scripts and you're prepared to ask for testimonials. And even for um, some of those that you haven't spoken with in a while, Bill, you probably have people maybe years ago that you hadn't reached out to. Take the time to do it. That's You said put in the action. That's the thing. Just got, guys, go do it. Just say, put, put on your calendar, right? Um, the, the next 60 days, I'm going to ask for five testimonials a week, you know? So, you know, you'll go get 40, ask for, you'll ask for 40 testimonials. Maybe you'll get 10 in return, but that's a great uh, starting point because a lot of my clients will say, you know, well, I liked your testimonials and you had a lot of them. And uh, that's, you know, one of my buddies gets more uh, business um, in this one particular town outside of Charlotte. He's got like 300 testimonials. You know, th that's why. It's one of the main reasons. And keep it real, because we like to keep it real. They, you don't have to make them up. Ask your sphere. People that like you, just tell them, speak to my character. How hard of a worker I am, and then that I'm going to fight for their business. So, Absolutely. So I think with that, we're going to bring out our special guest this week. And we're going to have an awesome, we have an amazing interview lined up. So Yeah, a guy that uh, is awesome. A lot of people uh, reach out to him all the time. He's a very successful realtor. Um, so enjoy the video. Yeah. yeah, and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys next week.